are you still drowning in messy folders? Build this Python file organizer and watch it organize your computer in no time. I'll import shuttle module because thanks to this module, I will be able to organize my folders automatically. Also, from path lib module, I'll import path. This path class will make my work with paths, folders and files much easier. That's why I import it as well. Now I will create directory variable that will store the path of my folder that I want to change. And you know how path looks like. It looks like this, where first is the letter of your disk. In my case, it, would be, it will be F, then colon, then you write backslash, and then you write a sequence of folders. In my case, it will be unorganized folder. But there's a red outline, which means there is an error. And also you can see some of the characters are green and some are orange. That's because this backslash is actually an escape holder. I mean an escape character in Python, which means every character or some of the characters after this backslash are read in a special way. So if you want to put a backslash in your string, you have to put two of them like this. Or if you want to avoid this, you can simply put a slash. This will work as well. Now, my idea of organizing my folder is to organize files based on their type. So I will create a category dictionary and I will name it cat, where keys are the types, as you can see, images, videos, documents, etc. And keys are a list of extensions that match the certain type. For example, here, you know that images can be JPEG or PNG and videos can be MP4, MKV, etc. And now that we have this dictionary, we can finally create our function that will organize my folders. I will name it organize function, organize files, and it will only have one parameter, which is folder. And I will also put a type to it, which will be path. This way, this way my Python will put me in yellow or red outline if I don't pass an actual path type to this function. Now I want to go through all the items in my folder. How to do that? For that, I will have to use my for loop and iterate through every file in my folder. So for file in folder, but this is just a path. If I want to get all the elements as a list, I need to call iter directory function and this will return all the elements of the folder i want to check if my file is actually a file or is it a folder because it's allowed to have folders in folders and i don't want to organize folders i want them to stay the way they are so if i have a file then i want to do the sorting but if i have a folder then i just want to skip the iteration which means i'll write an if here and check if file, I have a special function that checks if it's a file or a folder and it's called is underscore file. And here I will create a variable moved that will tell me if I have moved my file in a certain folder. You will see why that's important, but later. Now I need to go through all the elements in my category dictionary and check if my file matches any of the extensions. So for that, I will use for category and extensions in cat.items. Why items? Because items returns both keys and both values. And now category will become key and extensions will become value. Next, I need to check if my file suffix matches any of extensions in my extensions variable, which is a list of extensions. So I will write if file dot suffix. The important thing is 
Some suffixes have capital letters, some don't, and to bypass that error, we will simply convert every character in a lower letter. So I will write dot and write another function called lower. This way, we will avoid any unnecessary mistakes and check if this exists in extensions. If that's correct, if it exists, then I want to create a new directory and add a new path. I will create target directory to be equal to my folder name because you know folder is actually a path and I want to divide that by category. Now you're wondering why I want to divide two strings. Well, folder is not actually a string. So when I do this dividing, I actually put this category on top of this folder, which means I will have something like this f dot then slash and unorganized. And I will put on top the category. In my case, let's say it was images. For that concrete file, it was images that I will be putting my file to. So this will be the target directory. Now I want to create that folder, but you will see. First, I will call target directory dot make directory, and a short cut for that is mkdir. This would work, but it could cause a problem if my directory already exists and if I try to create a new one, that will return an error. So here I can write a special, as you can see, there's a special parameter here that's called exist OK, which means if my folder exists, is that OK? I will say true, which means if it already exists, then don't create a new one and also don't return me an error. And now I will move my file. For that, I will use finally this shuttle module and call shuttle move function and here pass my file name. Important thing is a file name has to be a string. So I can't write here file, I have to write string file. And now this is okay. And next, I will pass target directory and on that target directory I will append my file name as you can see and now my file is successfully moved and I want to mark this moved variable to be true and I want to break from this for loop because I found the correct folder there can't be two correct folders, so it's safe to break from this loop. Why I created this moved variable? Simply because there are a lot of extensions and I can't cover all of them. So I have to have other folder that all the files will be moved to if I didn't find the correct extension in the ones that I put in my categories dictionary. So if not moved, this means if this moved variable is false, that means I haven't found the correct folder for my file and I want to put that folder in this other directory. And I will call this other directory variable and that variable will be equal to folder divided by other. As I have said before, like here, this division by other will actually put that other on top of this whole path. And now I can also call other underscore dear and here again call make directory function and again I have to tell exist OK and make it true. Because if it's already created then that's okay you don't have to create a new one or return me an error and i will have to move my file but again i have to convert the name into a string otherwise it won't work and the other directory should be divided by file.name and now this 
main function that does all the work is complete. The only thing remained is to call that function, but in every serious project you will always write if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main. If that's correct, then I want to run this organize files and pass my directory from the beginning, if you remember. It is the path to the folder that I want to organize and print me files organized successfully. Exclamation mark. Why I wrote this if? Because if sometimes I want to import this module in some of my other Python scripts, then if I import it, this code would run and it will organize some folder that maybe I don't want to. So, for that purposes, this if is put because this if ensures that the code will be run only when you run this script directly, which means if I now click the play button, it will work. But if I import this in some other script and run, this code won't work, but I will be able to use this organize files function. I hope that makes sense and I didn't confuse you. So let's run the program to see if our folder will be organized. As you can see, the folder is now organized. If you remember from the beginning of the video, it wasn't organized at all. Now it's completely organized and this folder one and zebra remained, but I also have documents, images and other. In documents, I have Excel files, Word, PDFs and TXT files. In images, I had PNG and JPEG and in other, I had some MATLAB extension, as you can see, and application extension is actually exe file. Before you leave, check out the next video to learn powerful iter tools functions that can save you a ton of time. If this helped you, subscribe for more clean, practical Python tutorials every week.